Hi, this is Pratima and you are watching Planet Physiology. Today we shall study process of visual adaptation. That is, how our eyes adapt to see clearly in bright as well as dark conditions. To understand this topic, you should know details of photochemistry of vision. If you have missed that video, link for the same is shared in the description box below. Okay. In photochemistry, we have seen that in response to light, rhodopsin undergoes chemical changes and initiates series of reactions to convert light energy into action potentials. During this process, rhodopsin itself is degraded to opsin and all trans retinol. Retinol may be stored or recycled to generate new molecule of rhodopsin. With this background knowledge, now we shall discuss how rods and cones adapt themselves to different levels of illumination and its importance. So let's begin with the topic dark adaptation. When a person spends considerable time in bright light and then enters dimly lighted room, initially he cannot see anything. But slowly his visual sensitivity increases and a person starts seeing the objects clearly. This increase in visual sensitivity or decrease in visual threshold in darkness is called as dark adaptation. In simple words, dark adaptation is adjustment of eyes to see clearly under low light conditions. This adaptation takes place by three mechanisms, synthesis of photopigments, pupillary dilatation and neural mechanism. Let's begin with the synthesis of photopigment. When person spends sufficiently long time in bright light, most of the photochemicals in rods and cones are reduced to all transretinal and opsin. And much of the retinol is further converted to vitamin A and is stored in pigmented epithelium. As rods are now completely bleached in bright light, they lose their sensitivity to light. Now as the person is exposed to darkness, he cannot see anything because sensitivity of his retina is very very low. But immediately synthesis of photopigments begins in both rods as well as cones and the person's retinal sensitivity increases. Cones are very quick in regeneration of photopigments but the degree of their adaptation is very less. Same is shown here in dark adaptation curve. X axis is representing time spent in dark in minutes and Y axis is retinal sensitivity in logarithmic scale. Note that low sensitivity at the bottom of Y axis and higher sensitivity at the top of the Y axis. Now, due to rapid resynthesis of photopigments in cones, retinal sensitivity increases by 10 times within one minute of exposure to darkness. Cones adapt maximally within 5 to 6 minutes and increases sensitivity of the eyes by about 50 times. Rods begin to adapt after 5 minutes of exposure to darkness, but they continue to adapt for several minutes to hours. Increased rhodopsin synthesis increases sensitivity of the retina by 6000 times in 20 minutes and by 25,000 times at the end of 40 minutes. Synthesis of rhodopsin continues as long as person remains in dark. During this process, vitamin A is also converted to retinol and synthesized rhodopsin. Maximum amount of rhodopsin that can be synthesized depends on availability of opsin molecules. Some authors represent this dark adaptation curve in terms of visual threshold or sensitivity of light adapted eye where high sensitivity is at the bottom and low at the top of y axis as you can note over here. As per the scale, there is decline in the cone threshold on exposure to darkness and after 5 minutes they reach their maximum sensitivity. At the same time, now rods begin to adapt. Rod adaptation continues for longer time. 
This switch over from cones to rods is called as rod cone break or rod intercept. So basically both these graphs represent same thing only there is change in the y axis scale. So in your answer you can draw any one of the curve but only make sure that you write proper y axis legend. Another mechanism that operates on exposure to darkness is pupillary dilatation. When person enters dark area from bright light area, size of pupil increases by about 30 times within a fraction of second. This allows greater amount of light to enter the eye and stimulate more number of photoreceptors. Thus, visual sensitivity increases. Third mechanism that participates in the process of dark adaptation is convergence of rod signals. This is neural adaptation where during darkness more number of rods converge on single ganglion cell. This change is brought about by horizontal and amacrine cells. They remove the inhibition that prevent rod convergence. Thus visual sensitivity increases during darkness. But at the same time color perception is also reduced. And when vision becomes purely scotopic, purely dark light vision, person sees only in shades of grey. So as we have seen in dark adaptation curve, visual sensitivity increases almost to maximum in 20 minutes, although further increase continues over the period of time. Now note that this number is according to Ganong's review of medical physiology. This duration of dark adaptation depends on three factors. First, duration spent in bright light before being exposed to darkness. More the time spent in bright light, greater is the time required for dark adaptation. Second is intensity of pre-adapting light. If the person is exposed to very bright light, dark adaptation time is more. This increases cone adaptation time and delays switch over to rod adaptation. The third factor is nature of pre-adapting light. If the person is exposed to light of higher wavelengths like red light, dark adaptation time is drastically reduced. Let us see how and what is this clinical application. Okay, This graph represents sensitivity spectrum for red, green and blue cones. This is light sensitivity spectrum of rods. Now when person is exposed to red light, Rods are not at all stimulated and hence they do not bleach. That means rods preserve their rhodopsin content. As you can see, red monochromatic line has wavelength more than 620 nanometers and this is far away from the range of stimulation of rods. So rods are not at all bleached in response to red light. So because rods preserve their rhodopsin content, dark adaptation time is reduced. Because of this reason, professionals who need to work in dim light like radiologists or aircraft pilots or even workers in submarine are suggested to wear red goggles in bright light so that they can immediately see clearly in dark just by removing their goggles. Dark adaptation time can be measured by dark adaptometer. This instrument measures rod intercept time, which is also called as RI time. It is the number of minutes required for the eye to adapt from bright light to darkness. RI number higher than 6.5 indicates impaired dark adaptation. Impaired RI time is observed in earliest sign of age-related macular degeneration as well as in retinitis pigmentosa. So it can help in very early diagnosis of this condition before actually clinical manifestations can be seen. Okay, Adaptation of eyes from light to dark is gradual process where peak visual sensitivity shifts from 560 nanometer to 505 nanometer. This shifting of photopic vision to scotopic vision is called as Purkinje shift. It is seen at a time of dusk. During transition period, cone as well as rod mechanisms are working together and such a vision is called as mesopic vision. Mesopic vision is present during dusk 
dawn as well as at night times in presence of night lights let's study clinical aspect associated with dark adaptation so as we have seen during night rhodopsin requirement increases drastically which is fulfilled by its synthesis from opsin and retinol if necessary stored vitamin a is also utilized to synthesize rhodopsin now if the person has vitamin a deficiency required quantity of rhodopsin cannot be synthesized and as a result person cannot see clearly at night this condition is called as night blindness or nyctalopia it can be reversed successfully by timely administration of vitamin a please remember even though it is reversible condition if it is ignored it can permanently damage photoreceptors now coming to the light adaptation it is exactly the opposite process of dark adaptation when person moves to bright light after spending long time in dark say as if coming out of movie theater in the afternoon light appears too intense and uncomfortable to eye but within 5 minutes most of the rhodopsin is broken down and visual sensitivity is reduced this reduction in visual sensitivity or increase in visual threshold in bright light is called as light adaptation light adaptation involves bleaching of photoreceptors to reduce the sensitivity of the eyes constriction of the pupil to reduce the amount of light entering the eye and decrease convergence of rod signals light and dark adaptation together is generally known as visual adaptation to luminance it helps person to see equally well in bright sunlight as well as in dark situations here we come to the end of this topic so let us quickly summarize the important points during dark adaptation eyes adjust to see in darkness it is achieved by increasing synthesis of photopigments mainly rhodopsin pupillary dilatation and increasing rod signal convergence on ganglion cells during light adaptation eyes adapt to see clearly in brightness without any discomfort and for this photopigments are broken down that is rods are bleached pupils constrict and amount of rod signal convergence is reduced that's all for this session thank you for watching and see you in the next video if you enjoy my presentations press the like button and share it with your friends for more such videos subscribe my channel and click the bell icon thank you for watching and see you in the next video Thank you.